Hi, this is Kevin Westerling, Chief Editor for Water Online, reporting from WebTech 2016. I'm here with Dennis Kaiser. He's the Technical Sales Manager for Chain and Scrapers for Evoqua. Thanks for joining us, Dennis. Thank you very much. So um, could you tell us what new rehab and retrofit products Evoqua has for Chain and Scrapers, please? Yes, yeah, sure. Uh, because of our large install base, Evoqua has uh, hundreds of years of experience and, and installations that we, we play off of. And because of that, we have a large replacement parts uh, items that we like to, to show. And what we do is throughout the years, we've grown them to be more user friendly, longer lasting, and helpful for safety to the installed people. Can you tell me a little more about the uh, individual components for these chains? Certainly, if you have a little five minutes, I'd like to give you a, a picture of each of these. No, no, this, for instance, is our wall bearing for the head shaft, so the, the live shaft where the shaft will be spinning inside here. We have it, and many of them are, they're split, split cap bearings, but now we have this hub that is also split. So you are able to remove the bearing by just lifting up, take the top off, lift the shaft up a little bit, sneak this out, sneak it back in. Um, it's safety, safety concerns with the installed maintenance people. Just snap the new one in, drop the shaft down, replace this. And no, no reason to realign the shaft. We also have our new 316 stainless steel shear pin sprocket. 100% stainless steel, except for the sprocket, one piece sprocket. And it has a little trip lever in here that will be able to pop out as we're, as we're working with it. So it's user, again, user friendly, one piece, easy to install, these are, no greasing required. Now for rehab and retrofit opportunities, we have our high strength loop chain. This chain has got the uh, strength and uh, durability of comparable to stainless steel chains and our, and our steel chains that are in the market. It is a stronger non-metallic chain, lightweight, easy to use, uh, more resistant to grit than, uh, than the regular non-metallic chains. And we also have different bushings here. We see some are blue, some are green. We have a Kevlar bushing that we can use in very high grit applications. These are the floor wear strips. Uh, typically, this is your standard wear strip that, that's bolted to the floor. And what it does is it has a, a tendency to curl on the edge. It's just 3 8 inch thick, and you, and you have these recesses in here. So we see these curl up in the field a lot. What we ended up designing to was a, a, a mounting pads to the floor Having this system where it's called a C-rail, because of the shape of this, we just slide these on, slide them all the way along the floor. They're mitered for easy so the shoe can transition onto the next, and it's uh, long lasting. If you can see here, this is a half inch thick, and that's what you get as a half inch thick wear surface. The situation with these is, these are, would be half inch thick, but you only get the thickness of what's left to the washer. Once that wears away to the washer, you have to replace them. And finally, we have this upper return track uh, system here. These are the wall brackets. We call them a snowflake only because of the, the way it's shaped here. Um, you have multiple mounting locations for the wall. We have a CPVC pipe that hangs off the wall and supports this return track. Again, the same design as we had up on the floor, we have up on top, half inch wear surface. Off the shelf mounting hardware, slides on real easy. And again, transitions to the, to the thing. Easy to use, lightweight, and easy to install. Thanks so much for that overview. Appreciate Thank you. it.